We believe that a good design could be simple and yet provide the needs to the users. I'm Ho Peng Ming. I'm the director and also lens architect of Hoda Design. My role is overseeing the entire company in terms of design and project management as well as human management in the office. Our Hoda core value basically emphasizes on three major items. The first core value is to provide an excellent environment to the society. We aim to provide a sustainable society with our skill in design of landscape. The second value is a self-improvement by myself and also Hoda staff. The third is aim to provide a professional service to our client. Example, some of the projects we have completed Satya Alam Urban Parks. We have also completed a condo called The Rain in Bukit Jalil. We have obtained the Age Landscape Sustainable Award for this project. Hoda basically focuses a lot on environment. In our opinion, a good design could be simple and yet provide the needs to the users. The sustainable design is important in terms of easy maintenance as well as practical design. I think one of the examples of the project that we have actually practiced on all those items that I mentioned is Iringam Bayu. As a public park, this is actually a very simple yet very practical planning and design implemented into the project. And we have provided a lot of facility to the user. And at the same time, it is sustainable and doesn't require very high maintenance to the entire park itself. Iringam Bayu is a very interesting project. The initial of the site is actually a estate where the park contained with a retention pond for the entire 500 over acre site. The edge of the pond is actually considered partly become a wetland. So during the design process, the selection of the species in terms of creating a nice pond edge at the same time to handle some environmental issue on the soil erosion and all those things. Very important to collect and also select the correct species to plant at the edge of the wetland and to create a sustainable situation where the plants and also the fauna and fauna can survive in the lake. We have created a lot of activities such as people can do jogging, walking or can even do sightseeing at the deck which is next to the lake itself. And we have a lot of observation deck and also tower for people to do photo shooting, observation to the park itself. And not forgetting the children. There are actually different play elements being created in the park. There are some unique design that we introduced. We are using road traffic concept to let the kids play around like inside the road that they can actually become a driver in the car that they can drive along within the park. It's actually a little bit unique when we work together with the playground specialist to create a different kind of playground compared to others area. We wanted to create a canopy driving experience along the main driveway from the external road, go inside to the park and also go back to the homes. We have actually selected Samana Saman, a rain tree, as our main species along the driveway. In long run, a rain tree will grow very big and the canopy will actually overlap and create a tunnel effect. So when you drive along the driveway, you are actually as though you are like driving inside the tunnel and actually very shady and the sunlight penetrate through the canopy creating very really, uh, interesting effect on the road itself. There are good feedback from the visitor when they visit uh, the park from the nearby vicinity. Because it's a public park, it's not only limited to Iringan Bayou residents. People from various vicinity also can visit the park. So it's actually uh, open to anybody. I just hope that through the landscape design and planning, we can highlight and educate the public on how important the environmental issue is. A good environment can create a better living to humans.